Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to show you a Photoshop Basics. This is a, a, a kind of series that I've been doing for a little bit off and on, where I'm just showing you some simple tools in Photoshop that are just the basic ones that you really need to know about. And so this video is going to be about content aware. Uh, this is a feature that has come out a long time ago and they continue to improve it uh, to make it really easy to remove things in your images. Now everybody knows that you can go over, uh, re you know, remove something from your image with the clone stamp tool. I'm just going to create a new layer here and go over to my clone stamp. And let's say I want to remove this pillar just to make it uh, to where this is not uh, flanking anything. It's just a straight shot all the way out to these pillars. So I can go over here and I can sample and just try to get a nice clear uh, removal there. Uh, that looks a little wonky down there. I can try to play with it a little bit, just kind of mess with it. And that looks somewhat decent. But there is a, a cool feature that you can do called Content Aware to help out with removals of, uh, of similar simple objects like this. So what you can do is actually go over here to, over to, your, to your toolbar here on the left, uh, click on the lasso tool. You can pretty much use any selection tool. I like to use the lasso so I can just easily draw a rough, uh, rough circle around something. And so I'll just take this lasso and I'm not going to be super precise with it, but I'm going to draw right around here and also don't forget the uh, reflection that it leaves. I'm going to do that connect those and there's two ways to do this with content aware you can actually go to edit content aware fill and that'll bring up a content aware fill dialog box which allows you to you know kind of really play with exactly where you want to sample from um, where you want to use some scaling or anything like that I don't really ever use this much because I find that the default settings in content aware uh, do a very fantastic job. You can actually see um, if I didn't change anything, this is the after that I would get right here. And so it looks very, very natural, very nice. So you can obviously play with this a whole lot if you want to, um, or you can just click cancel here and you can click the delete key on your keyboard. And when you do that, it'll bring up a fill dialog box. And there are a couple options here in the content box. Usually it's set to black or white but you could actually choose content aware and when you choose content aware and click OK it's going to go through its process and it's going to remove the object so now we can click command D to deselect and there we go so we we totally removed it very very easily without having to go into the clone stamp now you can see if we zoom in here a little bit there's a little bit of uh, wonkiness right here and we can just simply clean that up with our uh, content aware or our, our clone stamp actually and just clean that up a little bit and there we go so that is as easy as it was you can use both options you can use the actual content aware dialog box where you can further refine your objects uh, your selections and where it's sampling from or you can just click the delete key and choose it from there and see what it gives you uh, on simple things like this it does a very fantastic job there are some times when you might need to clean up a little bit like I just did but uh, for the most part, it does a very, very good job. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.